illustrious timekeeper, members of the floor, I mean of the house, and not to forget our annual team. The government team. I am Aaron Peace, the second speaker of the opposition team. The motion for our debate is that teaching and learning of technical subjects in ILTB should be conducted in English. We, the opponent team, believe that this statement is totally groundless. The Deputy Prime Minister, JB, tried to say that job opportunity and education is, is agreed by them but I totally disagree because not every job and career is used is used the requirement in English language because not every country in this world is preferring English language. For example, the most advanced country like Japan, Korea, and China, they did not use English language to make their country more developed and advanced, such as this country. And for the second point, which is education. Some places in Malaysia also prefer to use their own mother tongue because they usually use Malay in their house and use English language only in class. For my research, its language is useless to learn English because it is not only being used in class. Now I would like to present my first point. Tonight, I will talk about two key points that will pull down the government agreement and strengthen our agreement. My first point is mother tongue. The use of mother tongue language, and in this case, Malay, in education in this country has been practiced since the early stage of this country education system. It's been, it's been commonly used by all race and it's not a foreign thing in, to Malaysia. So to, relate to, so to relate to this motion that teaching and learning of technical skill, subjects in IFKBS should be conducted in English would be a big mistake and students of IFKBS would be badly affected in many ways. and having a hard time learning with the new language. To make things worse, the students will get mixed up and they will think it is a difficult process of learning. For instance, like what the former deputy of the Language and Library Council, Dato Dr. Firdaus Abdullah said in the Sinar, Sinar Haryan, English proficiency should be enhanced through the subject itself. Students from other countries carry out systemic education in their native language as German, China, Dutch, France, Japan and Korea. It has been that these countries is more advanced in even without using English as their main language. Therefore, I would like to stand that English is not necessarily helpful in technical subjects. Now for my second point is that alternative way to learn English. Learning English in class is a mainstream thing. If we open our eyes, there are a lot of ways there are a lot of interesting ways of learning English outside of the classroom. Learning English in class is stressful and a burden to students that are weak. So we keep so why keep pressuring them? 
Students should be learning in enjoyable vibe so that they will be interested to get into it. And the students and, and study in more about English. For example, a hobby like reading will help the students to learn about grammar, spelling, basic comprehension, and even get ideas to write. Next, by listening to English songs and watching English movies, students would build courage and are confident when talking in English. This is because they have been they have seen and heard people speaking in English often. As a result, we myself learn a lot of English not in class, but instead a lot by watching English movies and listening to English songs. So there goes my points, my two key points of my agreement. Thank you.